my multivariable calculus. It's Ms. Dara back on the mic here, and I just wanted to give um, a whole problem to you to work through together that you could watch. So let's find the circulation of, and let's get a vector field here. So let's say our vector field is x minus y i hat plus x j hat. And I want to find the circulation around x squared plus y squared equals 1. And the first thing I want to do is I want to parameterize. And again, we're working around the whole circle. So if this was a conservative field, we would net nothing. So if I want to parameterize the unit circle, I have my uh, vector valued function, uh, cosine t i hat plus sine t j hat, t will be from 0 to 2 pi. Well, now I have r, now I need f in terms of r, so f will be x minus y, so that is cosine t minus sine t i hat plus x j hat, so plus cosine t j hat. And remember, we need to dot f and dr, so we're going to have to find r prime of t, which is going to be negative sine t i hat plus cosine t j hat. So now I just need to find f dot dr. So I have negative sine t cosine t. as a dot product, so I'm not going to have a vector anymore, plus sine squared t, plus cosine squared t. All of this is going to turn into 1. So now I just need to integrate f dot dr around the whole circle, so from 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to take the integral from 0 to 2 pi of, where is it, 1 minus sine t cosine t dt. So this becomes a t minus, let's do plus cosine squared t over 2 from 0 to 2 pi. So I get 2 pi plus a half minus 0 minus a half, so just 2 pi. And now if I were to, again, if I want to find the circulation around, I could also use green. Green's theorem says it's going to be the double integral over the region of dn dx minus dm dy. I could absolutely parameterize, but my area is a circle. If I have a unit circle, my area is pi times 1 squared, so I'm just going to accumulate 2 over the circle, so this is just going to be 2 times pi, which is 2 pi. So now I can find the circulation of this field as it moves along the circle. I can also find the flux. So remember, the flux is the projection of the field onto the, oh, this is just gross. Can you see this? Sorry. There we go. All right. Uh, the field onto the normal vector. So I cannot remember my field. My field was x minus y i hat plus x j hat. Um, my circle was the unit circle. And so um, if x is cosine t, y is sine t, dx is negative sine t dt, dy is cosine t dt. And I want to write this in terms of these variables. So remember I want mi hat plus nj hat. So m is going to be x minus y, which is going to be cosine t minus sine t. And n is going to be x, which is cosine t. So flux 
is going to be m dy minus n dx. Uh, as I move around this whole circle, my values go from 0 to 2 pi of m cosine t minus sine t dx times negative sine t plus, or sorry, minus n dx. Oh man, I put the wrong guy in the wrong place. So let's start over. I have m dy minus n dx. So let's clean that up. Who's in charge here? So I get cosine squared t minus sine t cosine t plus sine t cosine t dt. This turns into probably the only one that I know, 1 plus cosine of 2t over 2, which is 1 half. So t over 2 plus sine of 2t over 2 over 2. And I'm going to evaluate that from 0 to 2 pi. And I get 2 pi over 2 plus 0 minus 0 minus 0, which is pi. And remember, this is my positive outward flux. It is how much of this field operates on the normal vector across this closed region. So hopefully this is a really good example for you um, of how the difference between finding flux and finding circulation curl. Flux we can find um, using the line integral. Uh, we can also, we're going to talk about how to project onto the surface in class.